Hello, I'm Will. I'm here with Mike. We're the Tabletop Donkeys. Hello. And we've got another issue here of Warhammer 40,000 Conquest for you. We're going to be doing, as usual, a quick flick through the magazine, and then we're going to be playing the games that it details at the end of the magazine. And as always, if you've already seen all the contents of the magazine, you're welcome to skip ahead to the mission. There's a link in the description below that tells you the timestamp. As you see, we've got another six Poxwalkers. And this is the same easy-to-build one, so they all look the same, as you'll see later on, with reinforcements for the Death Guard. Then we've got information here in the magazine itself about Poxwalkers and about a battle that presumably was in, had a lot of Poxwalkers in it. And then the spreading of plague and disease across the Imperium by the Death Guard. And then we've got how to build Poxwalkers once again and how to paint them. And this time round, it's there's more paints than we had when we had the first group of Poxwalkers. So there's this is a bit more in depth. And then we've got the first mission here, the Endless Tide, which is a little bit different to some of the missions we've had before, as you'll see in a moment. Our first mission this week, the Endless Tide. Lieutenant Calcius is working his way back up through the decks of the Blade of Navaris to regroup with his fellow Seal Templars, and he encounters a huge swarm of Poxwalkers. So you can see this first battle, just Calcius versus all 12 of the Poxwalkers. And our rules this week, uh, it's not really anything too new, it's just how to use larger units. Uh, basically you can, you can sort of, don't need to measure each one individually, you can kind of wing it. That's how we've been doing it anyway. And you can see here that uh, even though units at the back of a fight, as long as they're within an inch of someone who's within an inch of a target, they can still fight. Uh, we've been using those rules up till now. So we'll head straight into the mission. We're rolling off for deployment, but we're deploying on opposite sides of the board. So I'm starting on the Death Guard side this week. And uh, yeah, we just roll off for deployment. And the Death Guard player gets the first turn. Uh, now we're rolling off for deployment. I've got a four. I've got a four as well, so we have to re-roll. Roll again. Five for me. Oh, I got a one. So, once William picks up the rest of the battlefield, <laughs> I get to deploy first. So our objectives for this first mission are just wipe each other out and um, Poxwalkers don't have any guns so I'm just going to deploy Calcius right here in the open. William's deployed there. As always you have to place one model on one of the deployment markers then all the others have to be within two inches of that model and William's managed to fit them all in. And uh, so it's the Death Guard get to go first so we head into Death Guard turn one. And we're just going to move up uh, four inches I think. No guns, but... So you can see the Poxwalkers have, uh, have moved up far too far away to clear any charges and no guns, so straight on to Space Marines turn one. Right, so uh, we're going to have to slog our way through all those Poxwalkers, so we're going to start in earnest. Going to move up our six inches to be next to those crates. And then he's going to be within 12 inches and you can see that Poxwalker there, so you can shoot with his bolt pistol. One shot, hitting on a three, what oh, he hit? And wounding on a three, and re-rolling ones, but he rolled a two, so he might as well declare a charge. And actually, he who charges first, charging first is going to be a big advantage. Should have thought of that before moving. I need to roll an eight to get in, so no overwatch. Well, right. I rolled a ten, so Calcius is going to get in and get to strike first. So let's go on to the fight phase. He has four attacks, here to go on twos. They will hit. And wound you on threes. Rerolling one, so three wounds. Disgustingly resilient for the Poxwalkers, they've made one, so two Poxwalkers go down. And we're going to take these two at the far end for a reason you're going to see in a moment. Poxwalkers get to strike back, they're going to pile in, and the reason I took those two at the end away is because then I can pile in everybody and they can all strike back. There are ten Poxwalkers now and they've got Two attacks each, that's going to be 20 attacks. I'm going to do it in two batches of 10. So, first load, hitting on fives. One hit. One hit. I'll roll the second load of hits at the same time and then add them all together in a minute. Three hits in Three total. hits in total from 20 attacks. That's not average. So then, wounding on the fives. No wounds. Well done, Poxwalkers. Well, you say that, but we head into Death Guard turn two. 
and uh, I assume you're going to go straight to the fight phase. Uh, funny that, yes, I am. <laughs> so you get to roll all those attacks again. I do. Well, I'm going to pile in first. He's going to pile in right around the corner like that to trap him in. It doesn't really matter, but... So you want me using my um, Codex Discipline? No, no falling back for you. Our first ten attacks again. That's a bit better. So we've got four hits. Four hits from that first one. We're going to do it again. Another three. So no, another four hits. Yeah, so eight in total. Eight hits total. Wounding on fives. One wound. One wound out of all that. It's better than no wounds. Three plus armor save. He's fine. And Cassius gets to hit back with his four attacks. Hitting on twos. They all hit. And wounding on threes. Rerolling ones. So luckily. Three wounds in total. Disgustingly resilient. Average again, make one, two more go down. And well, this is basically what it's going to be for the rest of the game, because uh, I can't fall back. I'm going to have to cut my way through. So we're into Space Marines turn two. He's one and truly trapped, so we're going to have to fight our way out. First he gets to fire his bolt pistol, hitting on threes. And he missed, typical. Then in the fight phase he gets four attacks, hitting on twos. It's three hits. And then wounding on threes, re-rolling ones. Oh, one wound. wound this time. I played my disgusting oh, it, so he hasn't taken any of them. Kill out. anyone that turn. So there's eight poxwalkers get to fight back. So sixteen attacks. That's Ooh, like two hits. Yeah, two hits out of sixteen. Five. One wound. One three plus armor save, and he made it. it. So now we're into Death Guard turn three. Straight into the fight phase. Yep, same thing again. 16 attacks. Uh, three, three hits. hits again. Wow. Well, that's more than last turn. Wound your fives. One wound. One three plus armor save. Oh, yeah. Cassius takes a wound. He's down to four. He gets to hit back. He has four attacks hitting on twos. I think they all hit. And wound your threes. Oh, oh. Come on. One wound. Oh. He killed a poxwalker though. And now it's on to Space Marines turn three. So we get to do. Cassius gets to shoot his pistol once hitting on threes. And of course he missed. He gets four melee attacks hitting on twos. Three hits. And wounded on threes, rolling ones. Oh, three wounds. Disgustingly resilient. Once. So another two poxwalkers go down. He's cutting them down slowly. Hitting back with the box walkers. Only five left, so ten attacks. They've got as many hits as six. No, they've got more hits than yes, four sixteen hits. managed. And ooh, three wounds out oh. of that. And three Cassius into a box walker. Three, three plus armor saves. Oh, he's failed two. Cassius down to two wounds. And then we head into Death Guard, turn four. Uh, so same again into the fight phase. Uh, Ten attacks, ooh, fives. Oh, it's five hits. It's steadily getting better. They didn't like those other guys anyway. Oh, they've only got one wound though. Cassius will live for another day. Yeah, especially if he makes his armor saves. And then he gets to hit back with his four attacks, hitting on twos. They all hit. All hit. Wounding on threes, rolling ones. Three wounds. That's going to be resilient. Made two of them, so only one box another box goes down. Goes down. And we're into Space Marines turn four. Cassius gets a pistol shot. <laughs> he can't he can't use his pistol, can he? Yeah, uh, he must be filled with blanks. And uh, four melee attacks. Hitting on twos, three hits. And when you're on threes, you're rolling ones. And he can't he stop rolling twos. It's all the twos. And I've made my resistance. even kill one. So the pox four pox walkers get to fight back. Three hits. When you're on fives. When you're on fives. One wound. Four, three plus armor save. He made it. It's fine. And then it's Death Guard turn five. Here we go again. Another eight attacks. Uh, four hits. Four hits this time. I was making up for my mm. terrible rolling earlier. And two mm, wounds. Two wounds. Could be important. Uh, he's made both. Cassius gets to fight back. Four attacks hitting on twos. Oy. Two ones. Two hits. We're only on threes. Oh, two wounds though. Oh. oh, and he's made both. If you knew it would take so long to kill 12 zombies, pistol shot misses as usual. And four melee attacks on twos, they all hit. Wounding on threes, rolling ones. Oh, good round. 
Yes, four wounds. Can we, how many pep swords can we keep alive? Ah, none of them. None of there them. we go. No, they all go down. He was saving that, he's gonna. Uh, yeah. So, Cassius survives against the Poxwalker Horde. And we'll head on to the second mission this week. Second mission for this issue, Overwhelmed. Uh, it's pretty much the same setup as last time, except we've got some ob actual objectives now other than just killing each other. Cassius now has to make it to this deployment marker, or this deployment marker as you see on the board, within five battle rounds, and the Poxwalkers have to stop him from doing that. We also have a few updated rules, some extra rules here. So the Space Marines now have frag grenades. Basically it's an alternative in, in the shooting phase. One of the models in a unit can choose to throw a frag grenade instead of firing their guns. And basically it's got a 6 inch range. Uh, you roll d6 to see how many potential hits you have. Uh, wounds, Poxwalkers on a 4, Plague Marines on a 5. It will come up eventually I'm sure. Uh, Plague Marines have something similar, they have Blight Grenades which are basically the same but they get to re-roll to wound rolls of 1. And most importantly for this mission the Poxwalkers have the Diseased Horde rule. So as long as there are more than 10 Poxwalkers in the unit they get plus 1 to hit. So definitely going to be going to have to whittle them down before I charge in this time. And we're rolling off for deployment. Oh, I got a two. Yeah. Oh. I got a four. I got a six. It's, I still win deployment. Well, we here as it's slightly closer to the objective. And predictably, William has deployed his Poxwalkers on the objective, so I'm going to have to cut my way through them. And so the Death Guard get to go first again. So we're heading to Death Guard. Turn one. So there isn't much incentive for me to do anything other than sit on the objective, to be honest, because Calcius has to get there where that guy in the middle is. But I'm going to spread out a little bit, because I don't really want to commit to making a move too early anyway, because we'll see where he goes. So he'll stay on roughly on the objective, and then they're just going to... Like that, and then that'll be it for my turn. There's nothing left to do. At this point, we should be moving on to Space Marines turn one. But unfortunately, due to perhaps snotlings in the system, the footage has got lost in the warp. However, it's very easy to describe what happened. From his deployment position, Lieutenant Kalsius advanced and moved to where you see on your screen. Having advanced, there was no shooting or charging to do, and so we can rejoin the action at Death Guard turn two. So I'm actually going to shuffle everybody this way a little bit and kind of stay in this corner because if I move up, then whatever happens, I've got a chance of a long charge without any real disadvantage, but I don't particularly want, but more likely I'll fail the charge and then Kalsis will get the charge off. Whereas if I go here, um, hopefully I'll be able to force him into attempting a long charge and then, well, we'll see what happens. Okay, so it's on to Space Marines turn two. So Space Marines turn two, can't really afford to dawdle too long, so we're going to just do a normal move. Six inches will get us to that corner of that box. I think you can just about see that box yeah. walker yeah. at the end, so you can get a, and it's within 12, so you can get a pistol shot with it. One shot hitting on a three, and of course it missed. And there's no real downside to not declaring a charge. Uh, so he's going to need a nine to get into contact with them. Ooh, oh, he's ten is enough. Ten, so he's straight in there. Oh. Now Cassie's charged, gets to go first. Four attacks, hitting on twos. Yeah, we'll hit. And winning on threes, now we need to... Winning on threes, you roll on one. We need to not roll lots of twos this time. That's, oh. that's a good start. Disgustingly resilient. I've made oh, two, which is... That is important. Yeah, not so good. Because but that is enough to stop them having their plus one bonus for having a big horde. Is it? Is it more than ten? It's more than ten. Oh. But you get to hit back. Yeah, and I think you've actually got me here. Oh, I think this is going to be work out well for you because I cannot. Yeah, you you hiding in the corner has worked against you. You can't bring the full weight of numbers. So eight box walkers, two attacks each. Sixteen attacks, hitting on fives. Five hits. Five hits. Rooting on fives. Three. Oh dear. Three, three plus armor saves. Mm, made two. Cassius goes down to four wounds. As we head into Death Guard. Turn three. 
So not really anything the pox augers can do. Straight to the fight phase. 16 attacks, nearly on fives. Oh, another good roll. Oh, that's, that is six hits this time. Only on fives. Two. Two more wounds. Two three plus armor saves. Made both of them. Cassius gets to hit back. Four attacks sitting on twos. Three hits. The wounding on threes rolling ones. That's two so far. Two wounds. Uh, I fail both my resilient rolls. Two more poxwalkers. Yeah, well, they'll be the ones you can't attack. Yeah. So. And now we're into Space Marines turn three. Cassius gets his bolt pistol shot. Oh, I actually hit this time. He did wound. Then he's got four melee attacks sitting on twos. Three hits. And wounded on threes. Three on ones, but three wounds. Made two of my resilient souls. Killed another poxwalker. Poxwalker goes down. And you get to hit back. So it's 14 attacks this time. Ooh. Blimey. Another good round of hits from the poxwalkers. They're getting better. They are getting better. Seven hits. Wounding on fives. Still only two. Two more wounds. Two three plus armor saves. Made, Made both. And now it's Death Guard turn four. I believe. Yeah. Straight to the fight phase. 14 attacks hitting on fives. Ooh, slightly worse, only four hits. Wounding on fives. One. One three plus armor save. You made it. Cassis gets four attacks. I need to do need to do start being faster. Hmm. That is not how you do it. One hit. Wounding on the three. Here's a wound. It's dead. That's one less box walker at least. Need to start wounding with pistols. Yeah. That's a wound. That's a hit with his pistol. It's wounded. Finally loaded his gun. Five plus resilience. He yep. killed a poxwalker with his pistol. Yeah. Well done, Cassius. Now on to the five phase. Cassius has four attacks hitting on twos. Three hits. Wounded on threes. You're rolling ones. You're rolling ones. Three wounds. Come on. Two more down. Oh, right, I think it's victory is achievable at this point. But the three remaining poxwalkers get to strike back. Uh, no hit. No. <laughs> Death guard. Turn five. This is it, essentially. So they get the got to kill them this round. So the poxwalkers get to hit first. They've only got one hit. They're not going to kill him. And we are a five. It has wounded. Three plus arm save. No. No. Cassius right. takes another wound. But he gets to strike back. Four attacks. Hitting on twos. That's that's not going to be enough. Only on threes. Mm. Ooh, two more go down. <laughs> he can pile in if he wants, just to get a little bit closer to that exit point. Uh, touching it. Yeah, wait, well, wasn't. There we are. Yeah. There we are. <laughs> <laughs> so, I think on a technicality, I've technically lost because. I no longer have a way to move on to the objective, so if I technically I killed him in melee, I could consolidate, but there's no nearest enemy model to consolidate towards, so I can't technically go anywhere. But we'll say, we're going to say that if I manage to kill this box walker, it's a moral victory. You've agreed on that? Yeah, because frankly, if you just kill that one guy, well, he's, he can escape, and it is in your turn five, so yeah. I don't see any particular problem with that. <laughs> so, here we go. Cassius has a pistol shot. Oh, it missed. Four attacks hitting on twos. Three hits. Wounded on threes, you're rolling ones. Two wounds. Will the poxwalker go down? Does it make both his resilient rolls? Oh. Oh, so that is. So he has. That will be victory for the Death Guard. It will, because he has actually survived. Well, I didn't expect him to do that. Well, he's, they've held up Cassius enough. Yeah, to he cause some just... tactical problem. Anyway, he gets his hit back out. Yeah, he missed. But it doesn't matter. The poxwalker's held on. The one poxwalker. Victory hit for the Death Guard. Victory for the Death Guard. So that was issue 9 of 140,000 Conquest. And how did you think those missions went? Well, the first one was, well, pretty much just killing each other was just yeah. going to come down to a lot of dice rolling just to see who can... Who can roll dice see, the best. See who can roll dice best. Um... It was, it was, it was close-ish, sort of. The Poxwalkers really struggled to wound Calcius there, as they do most Space Marines, but with that many wounds, difficult to get through all of them. The second mission, 
I was pretty much gambling that you weren't going to make that long charge, mm. because if you didn't make it, then I would have been able to come out, surround you, same as I did before. Uh, you kind of did box yourself in, in the, by going for the hide in the corner strategy. I did, um, essentially. It was a calculated risk, and it didn't quite work, although I won by no skill on my part, <laughs> simply by the fact that... You can roll fives really well. I can roll well. fives and sixes well. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was a, a tactic that didn't quite work out, but actually worked... Uh, and the end. <laughs> mm, I did hope maybe if I managed to advance a little bit further to move so I could see you and then throw a frag grenade trying to thin you out a bit, but uh, it didn't work out that way, unfortunately. So we didn't get to see, we didn't get to see any of the new extra rules this for this issue. No, we didn't. No, but, um, none of them actually came up at all. And it is good showing that the with the only of a lot of pox walkers, they are at a quite a good speed bump, especially if they can surround something. It's going to be stuck there for a while. Yes, and in the issues to come, we will see them in conjunction with other units where they do become a fairly effective blocking force. So that's all for this issue of Warhammer 40,000 Conquest. If you like this content, please like and subscribe and leave a comment. Uh, we've been the Tabletop Donkeys, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.